lesson for today is about conceptual framework and theoretical structure of financial accounting and reporting part two. So for financial reports, this is one of the important part because it is also useful for the business operation since the business uh, the the business manager, the owner, the decision decision maker are also um, assessing or uh, monitoring the reports or the either it's either um, monthly, uh, quarterly, semi-annually or yearly, which they can have uh, or they have their decisions based on the results of the operations on the financial reports because financial reports provides information about the reporting entities, economic resources, claims against the reporting entity and the effects of transactions and other events and conditions that change those resources and claims. Some financial reports also include explanatory material about management expectations and strategies for the reporting entity and other types of forward-looking information. Also, qualitative characteristics, types of information that are likely um, to be most useful to the existing and potential investors, lenders and other creditors of making decisions about the reporting entity on the basis of information in its financial report or financial information. For this, uh, this is the fundamental qualitative characteristics, relevant faithfulness, representation, finan uh, enhancing characteristics, verifiability, timeliness, understandability, and comparability. For the fundamental qualitative characteristics, relevance, relevant financial information is capable of making a difference in the decision made. My user's information may be capable of making a difference in a decision even if some users choose not to take advantage of it or are already aware of it from other sources. For fundamental qualitative characteristics, materiality is an entity specific aspects of relevance based on the nature of magnitude or both of the items to which the information relates in the, in the context of an individual entity's financial report. Also, the faithful representation to be useful financial information must not only represent relevant phenomena, but it must also faithfully represent the phenomena that it purports to represent to be a perfectly faithful uh, representation. A defection would have three characteristics. It would be completeness. A complete defection includes all information necessary for users to understand the phenomenon being depicted, including all necessary descriptions and explanations. But number two is neutrality. This is free from bias. A neutral defection is not slanted, weighted, emphasized, so the emphasized or otherwise manipulated to increase the probability that financial information will receive favorably or unfavorably to the users. For the freedom from error, no errors or omission in the description of the phenomenon and the process used to produce the reported information has been selected and applied with no errors in the process. Then for comparability, the qualitative characteristics that enables users to identify and understand similarities in and difference among items. Unlike the other qualitative characteristics, Comparability does not relate to a single item. A comparison requires at least two items. It is very viability means that the different knowledgeable and independent observers could reach consensus through not necessarily complete agreement that a particular depiction is a faithful representation. Quantified information need not be to need not be a single point estimate to be verifiable. And the timeliness means having information available to decision makers in time to be capable of influencing their decision generally. The older the information is, the less useful it is. While understandability, of course, classifying, characterizing, and representing information clearly and concisely makes it understandable. Financial reports are prepared for users who have a reasonable knowledge of business and economic activities and who renew or sorry who review and analyze the information diligently so this uh, what i mean class that understandability that the decision maker or the users are um, easy for them to understand the financial report 
they can really they can um, know immediately what to do and uh, what will be the results of the operation or ongoing uh, operations of the business. Applying the enhancing qualitative characteristics. Enhancing qualitative characteristics should be maximized to the extent possible applying the enhancing qualitative characteristics in an in iterative process that does not follow a prescribed order. Sometimes one enhancing qualitative characteristic, characteristics may have to be diminished to maximize another qualitative characteristics. The cost constraint on useful financial reporting. Cost is a pervasive constraint on the information that can be provided by financial reporting. Reporting financial information imposes costs and it is important that those costs are justified by the benefits of reporting that information. While going concern, the financial statements are normally prepared on the assumption that an enterprise is going concern and will continue to operate for the foreseeable future. This assumption underlies the dep depreciation of assets over their useful lives. If an entity expects to liquidate in the near future, its assets are valued at their worth of liquidation. So this ends our topic for today.